Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to decorate your house using thrift store finds, which is a very budget-friendly way to decorate your homes, which I personally absolutely love. Majority of the things that I have in my home are from the thrift store and not like regular stores, which I think makes my house look more interesting. It's got that collected over time look, which I absolutely love. And you know, I know that my house is not like everybody else's house, which is a good thing. And it keeps things interesting. So I'm just going to grab my camera and I'm going to take you around and show you the new things that I've found and how I've used them in hopes that it'll give you a little bit of inspiration of how to use some items that possibly you have already found at the thrift store or for when we can all get back into the thrift stores. You'll have some ideas of what to look for if you would like to recreate a look that I put together already. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love making them. So let's go ahead and get started. this up on the shelf I have quite a few new things actually so the first thing on the shelf that I thrifted recently are these two prints um, in the frames the original frames were really dark um, stained wood and as you can see I gave them a little makeover and I love them so much more now um, I do have a video on that which I'm not sure if it's up yet if it is I will link it otherwise it is coming soon in my thrift store makeover my next version next video of that um also another thing i found was this gorgeous brass candle holder which i absolutely adore i've never seen um this type with this type of handle before i think it is so cool um you know how much i love my antique um candle holders that i can carry around the house i have quite a collection of them this is my first brass one, and I saw it on the shelf with this cool handle, and I absolutely had to pick it up <laughs> because I thought it was so neat. The other thing that I found ages and ages ago, probably like a year ago, if not longer, and I've never used them up until this time, is I found two of these brass bells. I have another one sitting over on my side table between my two um, side chairs. But I have this one sitting here, and I absolutely love it. I just have it stacked on some little um, butter pat dishes, which I think is so cute, just to give it, give it a little bit more of an elevation. And I love the contrast between the brass and the white. I think that is so cool. I love it, and they sound really good, too. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, I'm loving this whole look up here. So now that I'm looking at this shelf, I think it is hilarious that I just realized everything on the shelf has been thrifted with the exception of the flowers here. I bought those at Michael's, but the little bowl that they're in is thrifted. The little jewelry case that's sitting on is thrifted. All of the white dishes and the little um, sugar bowl here is thrifted. The frames are thrifted. The candlesticks are thrifted. And even the candles themselves have been thrifted. So I think that is pretty cool. Oh, and the shelf itself, I thrifted as well. I think I found this shelf a couple, of, probably like four or five years ago, and I think I only paid like $4 for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then in the corner, I added just a little bit to the um, corner cabinet. As always, I have the soup trains up on top, but then on the handles, I like to always add a little something seasonal. And I found this wreath here. Let me give you a closer view of it. I found this wreath at the thrift store. I think it was like, I can't remember. It was under $5. I can't remember exactly how much it was. But I absolutely love it. It reminds me of rose hips. I'm not sure if that's what it is or not. But I just love the different color variations between the pink and the white and the green. And I just think it was really pretty. So I basically just hung it over the handles on the... Um, hutch here and I think it looks really nice I love it a lot just something quick and easy and simple I thought about maybe adding a bow but I decided that I didn't want to go too frilly I just wanted to go kind of the natural look so I am liking that very much here on my coffee table I have this tray which I recently just did redid that was on my last thrift store makeover 
And then here is that chamber pot that I loved so much. I'll give you a closer view of that here in just a second. And then I also recently picked up this um, brass candlesticks. The other two I've had for many, many years. But this one, I have a matching one up on the shelf behind the sofa here. Um, this chamber pot I filled with a baby's breath. I had a video on floral, um, spring floral arrangements, and I showed you how to do that there. But um, I just love this chamber pot so much. The um, flowers on it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me give you a closer view. So there's a closer view of the pretty floral motif. I just love it so much. And of course, this gorgeous handle helps out things as well, too, because I like pretty handles. <laughs> have some things here on the side table between my two armchairs um some of the stuff i have i can't remember if i've used before i know i've showed them in thrift hauls but i don't know if i've ever showed you how i use them so let me zoom in a little bit and i'll sh give you a better look the lighting probably isn't going to be very good <laughs> but this is the other matching brass bell to the one that's up on top of the shelf behind the sofa that i showed you earlier this little box um, I thrifted years and years ago. It's actually like one of those little trinket boxes that you can get, you know, when you go like touristing and stuff. This one, oh, this one doesn't have the name on it. But I have one that's like basically the same as this that says Hayward, Wisconsin, which is awesome. Um, because that is actually somewhere that we go on a regular basis with the family. This little bunny, I've had him for quite a long time too. I just think he's so adorable. And then this milk glass container is really cool. I love it. It's kind of like a square look to it and I love the little feet. So I just put a cute little floral arrangement. I think I made this particular floral arrangement last year around the springtime. I probably have a tutorial on that too somewhere. So I'm just reusing it from last year because I love it so much. I probably will reuse it again. I think it is really, really pretty. And this wooden tray I also found at the thrift store. So on the little shelf below, I have this finial which I recently picked up at the thrift store. I gave it a little bit of a makeover. It was much darker before. I just sanded it down a bit so that the white base would show through a little more and I'm really liking the way it looks. So I just have that down there. I think it looks nice. So over on the hutch, the new thing I have right here is this gorgeous painting. I can't remember if I showed you guys this before. I know it was in my spring home tour, but I can't remember if I highlighted it in my last um, video like this. So I'm gonna show you it again in case I didn't. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, perfect for spring. I love the little cottage next to the river and of course all the greens and pinks and blues. Seems just perfect for this time of year. Um, this also, I've showed this before, I'm pretty sure, um, in my last video like this. But I'm loving this. <laughs> I love it so much. I picked this up the last time um, Nicole, Jamie, and I went um, shopping. Also on the hutch, something that I have picked up a long time ago but had yet to use is this soup tureen right here with the cute little like ribbon detailing on the handles. I love this so much. I think it is so cute and like delicate looking. So I just put it in this basket along with a painting and a little um, greenery. Um, I used to have a clock right here in the front, but I since moved that and added a few Easter eggs in there instead. So I think the whole thing looks really nice. So here's another example of things that I've picked up completely at the thrift store. The last thing I showed you too, the basket arrangement is the same thing. Everything in that arrangement I picked up at the thrift store as well. But in this case, um, the newest addition is this gorgeous picture. Um, it's a Homer Lachlan picture. I think I found it. How much was it? I cannot remember. It doesn't have the tag on it anymore. But it was under like $3 and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the pink flowers on it, the little gold detailing, and then it's got some nice crazing and some nice browning to it. I absolutely love it. This little platter behind it I've had in my collection for years and years and years. And of course, it's got nice crazing. I love the pink flowers. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So this little bunny, you probably remember, I found him not too long ago and shared on a thrift store Thursday. I think he was like $3.99, something like that. I'm not sure if I've ever shared this little guy right here. I absolutely fell in love with this adorable pink and gold 
teacup. I've had this thing for many, many, many years. I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on it, so I can't tell you what it is, who the manufacturer is, but I absolutely love it. And look at the detailing on the saucer itself. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love it. Um, sometimes I make myself little cappuccinos in this little cup. I think it is so much fun. And of course, what teacup isn't complete with a tiny little cute spoon? So I found this spoon at the thrift store a long time ago. And it's one of my favorites because of its cute little size. <laughs> Goes very nicely with my little delicate teacups and I love it so much. So, oh, and the doily itself was also thrifted. So the whole thing I think looks really nice together and I love the fact that it is all thrifted. This black cabinet, um, I had seen in a video at home with Jillian had a black cabinet hanging in her hallway and I absolutely fell in love with it. And ever since watching that video, I had been on the lookout for one. I found this version. I think it was about $10. I can't remember how much it was. I'm sorry, I can't remember that. But anyways, I think it's adorable. It was already painted this way and distressed this way, which is absolutely perfect. And as you can see inside, I just have a few of my um, iron stone items and um, creamers and that sort of thing in it. And so I didn't know where to hang it. So instead of hanging it, I put it on this uh, side table that I have in the corner of my dining room. And I am liking it very, very much. <laughs> it is so cute. I love it. And I think it looks nice right here. So in also in the dining room, I found these gorgeous um, brass, kind of like antique brass looking sconces. And I absolutely fell in love with them. I love how, how ornate they are. So I have one hanging on either side of this mirror here. And I absolutely love it. I think it is just perfect. Brass is a new color for me. I haven't used brass in years and years. But... I'm loving it for the springtime. I think it blends nicely with the pinks and the whites that I've got going on um, in my decor. And I am loving these sconces so much. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I just love them. On the table, I picked out these floral plates to use. I found them quite a long time ago. And this is actually the first time I've ever used them. I love the delicate colors of them. On top of the plates, I layered these really pretty teacups, um, which I think have more of a mid-century modern flair to them, but I love them. I love the colors and I love the shape, so I thought they went nicely together. And then, of course, I had to use my Starburst um, flatware, which so many of you viewers have been so kind enough to find for me because I cannot find in my hometown. I have found one single knife, and that is it. Fun little side note, now that I have quite a few of these, this pattern, I never realized that there are so many variations in the pattern of the Starburst. So to me, that just makes it even more exciting. So I just feel so blessed that so many of you have been so sweet as to send them to me. So thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> so the items up here you've probably seen um, in a video recently. I think I did a video on oh my spring home tour. That's what it was. Um, but I never really went into detail on this stuff, so um, we'll just kind of go over quickly some of the new things that are up here. This print is new. I found it at the thrift store. I can't remember how much it was, but I painted the frame. It was just a plain, you know, brown basic frame, and I painted the frame and then just put it back in there, and I think it looks really cute. Um, the other thing that is new are these cute little juice glasses. There's the tomato ones. And then there's also the orange ones. I just think those are adorable. As well as, I can't remember if I shared this or not. I know I shared it in a haul, but I can't remember if I shared it in a display. It's just a cute little pitcher with a lid on it. It is, um, you know, like West restaurant wear, which I absolutely love. I'd like to get this put up on a little bit of a riser, but of course, <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Um, this is another thing that I've had for a really long time. It's a um, vintage juicer. So, of course, the little juice cup underneath it, I think that works out perfectly. <laughs> um, this also is new to me. Um, a subscriber sent it to me. I think it's so cute with the cute little um, strawberries stitched on it. And it's just a circle piece. So, I have it draped over and I really like that as well. And then this apron 
is new as well. I love it. It's got this little red or black rickrack along the edges and then the chicken scratch along the sides in a cute little design. So I'm really loving that. Um, it goes nicely with the kitchen with the red and white and black. So that's perfect. In the cubbies in my kitchen, I have a few new things as well. This jar right here with the cute little red and white checkered top is new. I haven't figured out what to put in it. I could put some buttons in it or something like that. But I was trying to think of something a little bit more unique. So for right now, it's just sitting there like that. Um, this little jar right here, I found when I was out shopping with um, Jamie from Border Bananas and Nicole North Garden. So I love that. I think it is so cool. And of course, I love the little pop of red. Because that's kind of what I'm trying to look for in the stuff for my my cubby. is like little, you know, vintage red things. I also picked up this right here, the Scotch Tape um, Tin, which I think is so cool. I love that a lot. I can never remember how much I've actually shown you of my little red things. <laughs> I can't remember. I think I've shown you these three things before, but I'll just do it real quickly. I found this little box, absolutely love it. Love the pop of red. And then there's this little cigar tin, which I think is adorable. And then this little lion, he actually is a little coin purse. I got it for 49 cents. <laughs> and so I like, think that's really cute as well. The only other new thing that I have here in the cubbies are these right here. These are um, birthday candles, um, vintage birthday candles, and I absolutely love the box. I think they're so cool. It has a little starburst on it, and I love the red and white with a little bit of gold on it. And that is this is my first box of like um, vintage birthday candles, and I'm thinking it's going to turn into a collection. If I can ever find any more, I will totally be scooping those up because I think the boxes are so much fun. Plus, they're, oh, plus the candles themselves are the cutesy little twist candles. I cannot get a hold of the box. There we go. Plus, the candles themselves are the cutesy little twist candles, and I'm totally digging that lately. So, I am loving that. Ah, it doesn't want to stand up for me now. There we go. So I recently dug this dish out of my cabinet because I wanted to use it as a catch-all tray for my counter here in my in my um, kitchen. Um, it is a Fire King, or is it glass bake? I think it's glass bake, if I remember correctly. Um, but it is working out perfectly because my husband comes home, he empties all of his pockets, and he puts it all on this side. And then this side over here is just for like random things that you know we keep out now and again or you know little things that need some place to go until I can get them put away I'll throw them in there and then I am using it in conjunction with this cute Corningware um, carrier or stand I guess you would call it I'm assuming you can put like a tea light underneath it and keep your casserole dish warm but I think it's a cute little stand and this seems to fit on there perfectly so I think it's cute, and I'm loving the look of it right now. It's something a little different, because normally I just have a regular old white tray out here. So this is kind of fun to have something a little different going on here. So on the counter behind my kitchen sink, I have added um, my vintage um, egg beater that I recently found. I love this thing so much. I didn't really know what to do with it originally. I thought I was maybe going to hang it, but I haven't found like the place to hang it yet. So for right now, it's just kind of sitting on the counter here in front of my vintage um, clock. And I really like the look of it. And then, of course, you've probably already seen this, but... And then it's like right next to where I've got my blender and my mixer here. So I think it looks really nice all together. And then over here off to the other side of the mixer, I have my new Pyrex Coffee Craft, which has the adorable... Starburst on it, which I absolutely love. I love that it's got the warming tray down there and I just have it sitting here and I grab this thing probably a couple times a day. I fill it up and then water my plants with it and then I also fill up the dog bowl with it. <laughs> and it's very handy. So I think I probably have this sitting out for quite a while, at least somewhere in my kitchen because it has become a daily item that I use. So I am liking that quite a bit. So here in my bedroom, off to the side of my makeup cabinet, I've added a few things. Um, the first thing being 
this gorgeous beaded purse, which I recently found at the thrift store. You probably remember it. I decided to hang it up on my wall, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I needed something to hang up but with, so I found this little cute picture, which I bought. Oh, I can't even remember when I bought it. It's just been down in my stash for a really long time because I didn't really care for the frame. So I gave the frame a makeover. I added some white paint to it real gent real like lightly and then I sanded off most of it and I really brought out the detailing in the um, frame itself which I absolutely love. And then the picture itself is this little girl praying and she's got her cute little puppy with her. And let me give you a closer view but this girl is so cute. Let me show you closer up. Here we go. All right, hopefully you can see that without too much of a glare. This is just a very inexpensive picture. It's like printed on this hardboard stuff like they used to always do back in the day. And I just thought she was, the girl itself is so cute. She's got her braids with her little, you know, little ribbon at the end of the braids. And she's got a cute little neck on her with a little frilly, um, you know, lace on it. And then look at this adorable little puppy. I just love him. But I really, my favorite part almost is the fact that, of course, she's praying. I think that is really super sweet. But I really love, you can just see it just a little bit, is her pink tuft um, bed covering. I just think that is so cool. So, I mean, all those elements put together, and I like the fact that it's kind of like muted a little bit, and it's not like a saturated with color, but there's a little bit of color. I just loved it so much. So I picked that up. I can't even remember how much it was. I want to say it was like $3. And like I said, it was in my stash for a really long time before I knew what to do with it. So all in all, I'm really enjoying this cute little area in my my bedroom. And yeah, I think the picture with the, with the purse hanging underneath it is unique and different. And I am really enjoying it very much. The other thing that I am enjoying a lot of is my train case that I've got set up here as kind of like a makeshift jewelry box. And I'm absolutely loving it because it's got all of my like vintage and vintage inspired jewelry in it. Um, I had the train case itself I've had for probably 10 years. And as you can see, I gave it a little makeover. I added some fabric on the back, the top and some trim because this was kind of falling apart. But the rest of it was really in good shape. I love that it's got the tray and I have actually used this quite a few times when I go like stay at a hotel or whatever I put all my cosmetics in here and I absolutely love using it but I don't get to use it very often most of the time it sits on a shelf and collects dust so I thought this would be a fun way to use it and I am loving it so much as you can see I've got necklaces draped over these aren't vintage but these are like my favorite sort of vintage inspired necklaces that I'm loving right now and then on the bottom here are all like vintage necklaces that I have found. This one here, I believe is my newest find, along with this one here is just a beaded pearl necklace. Those are my newest finds for necklaces anyways. So in the tray itself, I have um, a few different things. Like I've got a pair of rhinestone earrings. Mostly it's um, brooches and bracelets. Um, this is one of my newer finds. I love that one. And then this one also is relatively a new find. I think my all-time favorite is actually this one. I think this is so cool. Um, my daughter actually picked this up at a flea market. It has matching earrings. Of course, I don't know where the earrings are right now. But she kind of like isn't using it anymore and I'm like can I have it she's like yes I'm like all right <laughs> so that one I like that one and then I really love this one this one reminds me of a snowflake so so yeah that's my little collection of rhinestone stuff that I love so much um and I'm having fun with it let me give you a closer view of the necklaces so on the front here I have kind of like draped the necklaces that are all vintage finds. I'm assuming, I'm not real sure because I'm not real. They just look vintage to me. So I've got a couple of things of pearls. This one is really unique. I love this one. It's got the little rectangle stones of white and then it's got the, you know, the rhinestones with it. I love that one. This is my newest 
necklace. You may remember this from a thrift store Thursday recently. Love that one. And this also is a newer item. And then these are pretty as well. And then this one is probably my one of my favorites right here. But it's super short. Like, it's so tiny. I can't even get it around my neck. So I need to get a, an extender so I can actually wear it. I would wear it all the time. I just love it so much. <laughs> it's definitely supposed to be a choker necklace. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like wearing choker necklaces. So I need to make a little something so I can extend this so I can wear it more often. Most of these actually need that. Like this one needs it also. And this one. <laughs> so anyways, this has just been really fun for me. I am loving using this here. I like walking into the room and seeing it all displayed like this. So it's a fun way to see the, all the things that I've collected. And it's also a fun way to use my train case, which I'm always looking for ways to use that because I love it so much. <laughs> so one final thing in my bedroom, you probably remember this blanket that I have on my bed during my spring home tour. This is actually a vintage blanket, which I found last year at a church sale and I have been saving it for my spring decor ever since. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's very thin. Let me give you a close up. It's very thin, but it's got blues, greens, and a little bit of purple in it. And I think it is absolutely so pretty. Um, it does even have like the um, satin edging, which I think is so cute. So this will be a perfect blanket for the summertime. Just a little you know, lightweight blanket to take a nap with in the middle of the summer when the air conditioning's like going crazy. So yeah, I love that it's vintage. I love that it's nice and thin and I absolutely love the colors of it. So Raymo over here is not too impressed looking with that blanket, but I like the blanket. Look at her, she's got her little toy underneath her using it as a pillow. Is that your pillow? Is that toy your pillow? <laughs> you're so sweet yes you are all right my friends that is going to be it for me today thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today i appreciate it if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i will see you again very soon in my next video bye now